Hello and welcome to Controller Hogs. This is Seriously Unserious, being joined yet again by Lance Corporal Hawk for yet another episode of The Long Dark as we continue our you know, saga of surviving and exploring all the new content from the far territories when we get there. You keep forgetting the 30. Uh, which 30? The one at the end of my username. <laughs> ah. It's okay. I'm not going to harp on it to you too bad, but it's Lance Corporal Hawk 30, if you know what I'm saying. It's 30. Yeah, it's the a bit of a mouthful to say. Yeah, but, I, do, I, do, I wanted to distinguish myself from the first 29. There we are. All right, are you able to see the black screen now? Yep, I see the. I see that little menu. Okay, now I see. Uh, now we have light. I see you. Fresh guts. What a wonderful thing to wake up to? Question mark. Yeah. Well, they'll become uh, cured guts eventually, and that'll be useful. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah. So oh we boy, getting... I can't wait for us to find more cans of peaches. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the meme from last episode. Peaches, 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 peaches. Unless we just start finding apples, it'll be apples, 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 apples. If only, but that fruit does not exist in the long dark. No, it's okay. We still have peaches. As long as we got peaches, we'll be all right. Yeah, the only things I know of that are fruit related that we have access to are canned peaches, ro you know, fresh rose hips, um, the uh, fruit flavored pops, and which would be the grape and orange sodas three cabinets that i missed searching earlier and wait you really missed skip the cabinets hmm. well yeah, i guess i missed those three up there okay uh, overhead out of sight out of mind and then the other somewhat fruit related thing we have access to is the tomato soup since tomatoes are technically a fruit I still think that is so stupid. <laughs> it's like, like it goes in salad though. It goes in yeah. salad. So I've does fruit. I've been lied to. So does fruit. Ever heard of a fruit salad? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. What was yep. that? The Wiggles. Um, I think it was. So. Speaking it's of looking... fruits, you ever had a dump cake? <laughs> Nope, I haven't heard of that either. Okay. Uh, it's something that kind of cuts out some of the proper, quote-unquote, process for making a cake. It's like you put a can or two of pie filling or fruit filling or some kind at the bottom of a pan. Uh, and then you cover it with the pre-made uh, cake mix. And then top it off with melted butter or just chop up butter and place it around so it can melt bake it you pull it out it's kind of it's like a extremely cheap cobbler right mm. and Djibouti dubs actually had qu quite a few videos where they dubbed over uh this lady kathy who was one of those infomercial people trying to sell like a, the, the copper pans and all that one of them oh yeah was for a dump cake video <laughs> <laughs> And man, there's quite a few moments. Of yeah. you, I'll have to send you the links to some of them because those are funny. Yeah, like she puts a little bit of her dump cake mix in a in a mug, puts fruit at the bottom, microwaves it, and puts out. It looks like a little bitty cake. She's like, "You ever take a dump in a mug?" He's just like, "What kind of thing are you smoking, lady?" It's oh it's God. funny, but I. I actually gave it a try recently with some apple pie filling. And it wasn't half bad. I probably would have yeah. taken it out a little bit sooner than I ultimately did, but it was alright. Uh-huh. I think I've done some kind of quick cakes uh, 
that you cook in, in uh, mugs in the microwave before, and yeah, if you're able to get the recipe down, they can be pretty good. Mm. I think it's a similar, co I think it's the same concept, pretty much. Yeah. Although next time, what I'll probably do instead of just dumping the mug, the <laughs> dumping the mug, <laughs> instead of dumping the 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 cake mix on top and putting butter, I might pre-mix the cake mix, like at least mix it with milk, so that it becomes a proper uh, mix and batter before pouring it over the filling. Yeah. That way, it probably not uh, a bad idea. Yeah, that way it just is a little less likely to have the flour packets in it even though i didn't yeah. fortunately didn't have that issue this go around but it's something i will be trying again because that was pretty neat warm it up put some ice cream on it it's good yeah And, uh, by the way, I, yes, I did hear that wolves howling around somewhere off in that general direction. Mm -hmm. So, we're not going that way. Mm. Oh, a woodpecker. I wonder if it's Woody. Woodpecker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know all the old classics. <laughs> well, of course I do. I had a grandmother. <laughs> My grandma, my yeah. nana had VHSs of a lot of old cartoons. Woody Woodpecker was one of them. I don't know if it was like a greatest hits VHS, but it had quite a lot of his stuff. I actually recently bought a DVD collection of old Woody Woodpecker cartoons, like 70 episodes. That also had yeah. other uh, cartoons from the same creator, Walter Lance, spelled L-A-N-T-Z. Yeah. Now, what... Yeah, you know, the woodpeckers are really uh, going at it right now. Because even as you were talking, I kept hearing them uh, rattling, rattling away off of the trees. Yeah, there's a wolf over there. I actually saw him earlier. Another one over that way. Oh boy. Now, fortunately, this road seems to be allowing us for now to thread the needle between the wolves. Plus, whatever wolf yeah. is over that way is on the other side of that ridge, so he'd be having a little bit of a difficult time getting to us if he wanted, even if he wanted yeah. to. I, I just had a horrible, I don't know if it's a pun or just an innuendo joke, but either way, it's like, <laughs> that'd be, <laughs> how does a woodpecker deal with morning wood? Easy, gets rid of it. Well, technically the woodpecker... Uh, Gets it out of the way so we can get out the bugs inside. I know, I was making a morning wood joke. Get it? Because wood, woodpecker. Yeah. That's a double entendre in and of itself, the name is. Head <laughs> Yeah, those rocks over again. on the left? Oh, yeah, there are a few stones. Might be worth picking one or two up. Okay. In case we come across some handy bunnies. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm hearing uh, some clucking. <laughs> there be some... Uh, no, it's hearing was uh, clucking. It might be some uh, birds nearby that we might be able to hunt. Yeah. Uh, Just a bunch of birdies. Oh, I birdies, go like, hungry. Sounds like they're just across this hill in front here. Yeah, hearing them again. Don't know if you. <laughs> I don't know if you recognize that voice I just did, but it was uh, the Scarecrow for Cocker's Bad Fur Day. Mm. It's a funny game you can play. Ah! Too cold to think. She's... There they are. Those are the birds. It's Some his birdies. Little uh, ptarmigans. Ptarmigans? Yeah. 
these are the ones I was talking about that uh got okay, him. I've got one, but the others are all taken off. Uh, it's okay. It's a brutal way to Snap crackle them, pop but... Tarmigan. Okay, and it put us over yeah. the weight limit. Yeah. So now if we're I'm slow mis and smelly. Mm. With a wolf nearby. Slow and smelly. Just like a walrus. Actually, walruses could probably be fast if they want to. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. If I'm remembering awesome. correctly, I think ptarmigan is the state bird of Alaska. I think. Could be. Ah. I'm just uh, being extra careful to see if that wolf isn't coming uh, beelining over through that area out there. Yeah, at least, uh, at least we're oh, in a better vantage point with Bunny. He's Bunny. Well, apparently, uh, that wolf might be uh, Mr. Oblivious. He's going to drop that right now so we can concentrate on the uh, prey in front of me. Whoa! Oh, it's cries of pain. Do not excuse the fact that it is going to be yummy. I can barely walk with this much gear. Oh. Oh, and I think there's uh, something else up ahead that might uh, also help with our uh, food situation. Mushroom? Uh, that right there. Oh. But yeah, the uh, Rishis will also help. Mm, yummy, yummy. Uh, I'm gonna be careful and keep my eyes on the direction the wolf might be coming from. Mm-hmm. My stomach feels like an empty pit. Yeah, I hear you. Ooh, boy. In cave. Well, that's actually quite convenient because there's oh. gonna be some because we're gonna be picking up some stuff that we're gonna want to get curing and mm -hmm. be able to take care of that right inside that cave. Let's see what we got in the way of fuel. We got a book to start the fire with, and not really warm enough stuff to. I want to mess with the fire out here where it's cold. This so, tank is getting too heavy to carry. I'll start up the fire inside mm. the uh, warmer part of this cave. Start with the tarnigan and uh, rabbit, and then we'll move on to the deer. Yeah. Get warm first, then get full. Yeah, there we go. This is just far enough to get that going. Sadly, it's... Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see if we can do anything with the torch. Yeah, I was getting used to my other game. My uh, character's gotten so skilled at starting fires that, you know, failure's just not really a concern anymore. That's always good. Yeah. Failure yeah, to start this a fire one, with this cold is yeah. horrible Damn. to think about. And then this one, that can potentially happen still. So this is where that decision to uh, use the match on lighting up a torch, which I can now keep reattempting to light the fire as many times as I can a lot, as long as the torch remains lit, is just paid off. Mm-hmm. We just saved ourselves a match by doing that. Now let's make sure we don't go on waste that by letting the fire go out. Ah, nice. And much warmer. Speaking of not wasting anything, let's water. be smart and get some uh, more water going while we're at it. 
Yes. Maybe well, let's use this, and that's going to be faster. And sweet, sweet warmth. I thought you were about to say sweet, sweet meat. Well, that too. Although we've got a little bit of time yet before that's going to be ready. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to need to look for some more fuel before we're done here. I saw the peaches. Where? Where are you just... You know, battery about peaches still. <laughs> now, ideally, what I would like to use this target tarmig yeah, that's a bit of a tongue twister ptarmigan meat for is uh, making some uh, broth, but right now I don't have that option and I don't want to be carrying that around with me. Mm hmm. Now, yeah, while this stuff finishes cooking, I'm going to go out and gather up some more uh, sticks. Because we're going to need that to keep that fire lit. Yep, good thing we got a few. Well, it wouldn't hurt to also gather another rabbit while I'm at it, too, if the opportunity presents yeah. itself. As long as we don't get Need so hung up on Need that, that we let our fire go out. Huh. Okay, we're going to come back this way. Right between the eyes. Got him. Good thing there's a few sticks lying around close by. Yep. I'm going to drop the rabbit so we don't have to worry about the wolf coming, running up that valley there while mm -hmm. we're busy gathering sticks. Right. Slow me down. Ah. Mess around with that branch right now. Don't have time for that. But we do have time to pick up that stick just up ahead. Now, if I really had the time, I'd chop up those uh, limbs there. These look like fur limbs, which would give us more than enough fuel to do all the things we want to do in here. Mm -hmm. I don't have that kind of time right now. The meat we've got on the fire would be burnt, and the fire would be uh, out by the time we uh, got any of that accomplished. Yeah. And that, and that would have erased any benefit we would have gotten from uh, saving a uh, match on our method of you know, lighting the fire. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Right, come on, get to the sticks. Right, as we'll do a little more water. And yes, get some meat off of this bunny. And it was a big boy too, 1.4 kilos of meat. Nice. It's making me want some kind of meat like chicken or bird or something like that. But I don't have any at home, sadly. Yeah, well, oh well. Whoops, nothing left on that. This was, oh yeah, this is the one that still had a bit of meat left on it. Do we want to harvest the feathers, or not really? Yeah, I'm going to want to harvest the feathers. We're going to eventually be able to use those for something. Just going to take a long time to harvest them, so I would rather, rather save that 
job for a little bit later because right now we need to get more uh, sticks to feed that hungry fire. Uh -huh. Not to mention I also want to get that meat off of that deer at some point as well. And, and preferably before the fire goes out. All right. Because I need to get a few off of that branch. Uh, here we go. Here's some sticks. Weirdly enough, it makes me... Having that campfire going makes me miss having a wood stove at home. Oh, yeah? I haven't... I haven't lived in a house that had a wood stove in, oh boy, years. Oh, man. I, I, li I like fire. <laughs> that, that makes me sound like a pyromaniac, which I guess technically I am, as long as I'm not an arsonist, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, it's, when you start to... Uh, actually, you better check on the fire before I mess with it, dear. But... Yeah, there's a fine line between, you know, liking a good fire and uh, you know, becoming a dangerous down. criminal with it. Yeah. And I would say coming in here to feed the hungry fire was definitely the right call. Yeah. So we're just saving that so, cooked ptarmigan for a little bit later? Well, I'll be eating it in a little bit. I just don't have time to right now. I need to go and get whatever meat I can salvage off of this guy first. All right. Which is also going to take longer than normal because it's frozen. Mm -hmm. Which is another bit of an issue that... Uh, I'm also kind of having to keep in the back of my mind. Did that say moldy venison? Uh, potentially. That's, at least that's how it would start out as. wasn't really paying very close attention, but the fact that it was uh, harvested from a dead deer we just found at the, uh, you know, just laying there. I'm not surprised if it's a little bit in a little bit nasty shape. Uh, it'll get better when we cook it. It'll cook some of that nastiness, that, some of that nastiness out. I hope so. Time to get another whole entire kilo of meat. And then we'll need to find some more uh, sticks for the hungry fire. To keep that going uh -huh. long enough to get all our cooking done. Fortunately, the sunk of meat I've got there now is going to be the last of the uh, cooking we're going to need to do. So, uh, but unfortunately, it looks like we're just down to branches in the uh, immediate vicinity. Hopefully these three sticks should be enough to get everything finished. If not, at least I'll be breaking up another branch. Now there's still, uh, you know, the raw guts and the hide I want to get off of that deer and get that stuff curing so we can eventually use that to make ourselves some better clothes. Ah. Now, though, my main concern is keeping that fire going.
long enough to get uh, everything cooked. Yeah, it's going to be another 44 minutes for that sucker to cook. Mm. So maybe we'll get some water going. And Lata. Definitely going to need more sticks. More sticks. Gotta eat soon. Yeah, we'll be feasting soon enough. Right now, we gotta make sure we finish cooking what we've got on the fire. And unfortunately, this is a rather inefficient way of getting our fuel, but it's the only option we got left. I'd rather do it a little bit of an inefficient way than let the fire go out, just because I'm trying to find the perfect, you know, pile of sticks to pick up. Right. Or wait, or let it burn out while I'm busy chopping wood. It takes 45 minutes of in-game time to chop. Really? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Chopping those limbs isn't fast. Okay, that's glitching on. It's causing a bit of a problem. Oh, just enough time. We'll probably eat some of what's already cooked, couldn't we? Yeah. Well, I would kind of like to start getting some of this stuff off and curing. So although our food is, I mean, although our condition is going down from this, it is. It goes down reasonably slowly, so it's not... Oh, <laughs> did finish boiling. Yeah, now we can go ahead and feast. Yum, 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 yum. Sort of on that one. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to find something to cook whenever we get off of this call. Not all this. It's got me, uh, it's got me in a cooking mood. <laughs> yeah. But the sad thing is, I don't have any meats, I don't think. Oh, no. That is absolutely horrible. <laughs> oh, no. No meats. <laughs> Well, at least none that, uh, at least I don't think I do. None that ain't frozen anyways, and I ain't got the patience to try to thaw out before the night's over. Yeah. I, en I ended up sleeping most of today. All right. After all this processing, I get the feeling we're going to be spending the night out in this cave tonight. Hopefully yeah. we don't get a freezing cold blizzard in the middle of the night. But at least we got ourselves a good, you know, a good supply of food out of this and some other uh, crafting materials in the works that we're going to need. Another four. Place to rest. Yeah. We've got a place all lined up for you. Yep. Only thing missing is a proper bed. Which we do have a bed roll to take uh, the place of a bed. Yeah, not the same thing though. <laughs> but hey, in survival, oh, I guess. There's, There's still, still more meat on that thing. Yeah. Okay and then. I'm not wasting a match on 0.4 kilos worth of. Uh, rabbit meat either so we'll just leave it sitting there if uh, if we get lucky maybe we'll get some sunshine in the morning and we'll be able to do a mag lens fire to finish that up if not well it'll still be there next time we come back here So it looks like we'll be camping out in a cave tonight. Mm-hmm. Cold, hard cave. And now you'll see why I delayed on harvesting the 
ptarmigan uh, feathers. Two, Two hours. hour? Just for plucking feather? Sheesh. Yep. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's not a fast process. But it's a good use of our productive use of our time until we're uh, you're ready for settling in for the night. I suppose. We ain't got dusky better looking. Than, better than just sit, you know, sitting there wasting time. Oh, right. want to drop that down. <laughs> get this. Get this bad boy. Uh, you know, curing. All right. I guess. Well, much we can do, but uh, get some sleep, or maybe see if we can uh, do a little bit of clothing repairs. Probably wouldn't hurt. I'm too tired to think straight. Cause, yeah, because now that I got these socks fixed up, I should be able to replace these crappy ones with these much better ones. Mm hmm. And then these ones, just go ahead and uh, tear them up for a scrap cloth. Yeah. Yeah, these jeans not really worth fixing them up. Although, it looking like it's going to be a while before we're able to do anything about replacing them, anyways. Now this urban parka that I think that's good enough that it might be worth just putting some effort into fixing them up. But uh, these socks might be. But yeah, I think definitely this. It seems like it's worth fixing up because even if I do find a better jacket, it'll be replacing this crappy thing anyways. So yeah, hopefully, let us finish this. Ah, good. Yeah, it's a big improvement on our uh, warmth. Getting some of that stuff fixed up. Now let's see. Do. Do not do we, oh, good. We do have some of these at least. So yum 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 yum. Yeah, I'm gonna double up on this because I want to get four hours of improved healing rather than just uh, two because we need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight hours. That's a bit of a risk. Yes. I just realized because if it did start blizzarding, that uh, could have caused us to be waking up, dying of hypothermia. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Mm, good. We got a little lucky there, and we got a ton of health back. There we go. There oh, that was go. like that's close though. Wow. Oh boy. Cutting it close. And this has been seriously unserious. Here in the cave with uh, Lance Corporal Walk, you know, and concluding another episode of The Long Dark. And, and hopefully you know, we won't freeze to death come the next episode. We're almost to a week. We're almost there, lads. Yeah. 